Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So this is the part 20 for the rapid revision for the environmental science entrances and this will consist of many MCQs related to pollution, radioactivity, sewage treatment. So all this will be very very important because in between we will be also discussing some of the concepts related to that. So get ready with the notes so that you can write down all the points which will be going to be very helpful in the examination. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So before starting the video, let me tell you that more than 500 questions and important frequently asked questions are discussed in this playlist for mega revision. You must watch this. So the questions are on the screen. The question first is assertion and reasoning here. So the assertion statement states in an electrostatic precipitator, corona discharge is used for removing the particulate particles from the gas stream. So here this corona is the not the coronavirus and the reason statement states the corona discharge creates an electric field which makes the particles to settle down. So what will be the correct option? Yes, the correct option will be option number A that both these statements are correct and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Yes, corona discharge is actually the element in the electrostatic precipitator, the part which creates an electric field. And because of these electric fields, the particles are settled down and as a result, they are removed from the electrostatic precipitator mechanism from the gas stream. So I hope you are able to understand. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the radioactivity attributable to radon in the air is measured in which of the following units? So here, if you know the unit to measure the radioactivity, you will hit the option B. Yes, curies or picocuries per liter is the unit to measure the radioactivity attributable to radon or any other radioactive substance. So option B will be the correct option. Coming to the next question, this is also very simple and frequent last question. So plants suitable for biomonitoring of sulfur dioxide pollution are what? So here you have to choose the correct combination of plants. And yes, if you know one thing only that is lichens are used for monitoring the sulfur dioxide pollution in the atmosphere, you will be able to hit the option A and you will get the full marks. Along with that, you should remember white pine and moss are also the plants for the biomonitoring of sulfur dioxide pollution. Let's move to the next question. The next question is half-life that is denoted as capital T of a radioactive sample is given by which of the following formula. So here options are having lambda in that where lambda denotes the disintegration constant. So here the correct option will be option number A 0 0.693 by lambda will give the half lifetime of the radioactive sample. So this question is also asked in the numerical form. If you know this formula, you will be able to correctly answer the question and get the complete mark. So T is equal to half life is equal to 0 0.693 by lambda. That is the disintegration constant of the radioactive sample. Let's move to the next set of questions. So here in this slide, the first question is the match the following in which list one and list two are mostly from the sound and energy related to that. So we will match one by one. I will tell you first is the audible frequency range of humans is what? So we all know from the school level that it is 20 to 20,000 Hertz. Next is the audible sound level pressure is how much? So it is 20 micropascal to 200 Pascal. So Pascal is the unit of measuring the pressure. So it will match with the first option. Next is ratio of intensity to a reference intensity of sound expressed in the logarithmic scale is known as what? So here it is talking about the decibel. Next is energy content for varying sound level is what? So it is equivalent to the continuous sound level which is measured as L equivalent that is L EQ in short term. So I hope you are noting down all these things. Let's move to the next question. The next question is which of the following processes cause an increase in the atomic number? Options are beta emission, alpha emission, positron emission or electron capture. So here the correct option will be beta emission. Yes, in beta emission 
what happens is the neutron is changed so neutron is converted into what it is changed into protons so what are protons so proton decides our atomic number so if neutron is changed to proton that means proton numbers are increased so atomic number are increased so option a that is beta emission will be the correct option let's move to the next question the next question is the steel units generate which of the following air pollutants this came in 2008 net examination and here the correct option will be option number d yes sulfur dioxide oxides of nitrogen particulate matter and smoke all these four things are generated from the steel manufacturing unit as the air pollute let's move to the next set of questions so here the question first is a simple and relatively inexpensive film flow type of aerobic treatment method is what options are septic tank activated sludge process percolating filter system or all of these so here the correct option will be option c percolating filter system yes septic tank method anaerobic method so you should note down these are anaerobic but percolating filter system is the aerobic treatment method let's move to the next question the next question is under kyoto protocol which we discussed in the last slide also the percentage reduction sought to be achieved in carbon dioxide emission from 1990 level by the year 2012 is what so this was actually given in the first commitment phase that is 2008 to 2012 which you should remember is the first commitment phase for the kyoto protocol and the percentage reduction was sought to be 5.25 percent or 5.2 percent actually 5.2 percent option b will be correct less than the carbon dioxide emission from the 1990 level this was till 2012 so let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following water purification technology removes the minerals from the drinking water so i hope everyone will be able to answer this question yes reverse osmosis is the process in which the technology removes the minerals from the drinking water so that is harmful minerals and here it is also denoted as ro process let's move to the next question next question from the box model type of pollutant here the question asking in the box model the pollutant concentration which is denoted as capital c over an area varies with the mixing height that is capital h as what so this is actually asking about the relationship between pollutant concentration capital c and mixing height capital h so here the correct option will be what it will be option number b c is inversely proportional to the mixing height yes the pollutant concentration increases when the height is less and when the height is more that is mixing height then the pollutant concentration is decreased let's move to the next question the next question again from the radioactivity decay the question is the isotope 6c11 that is carbon decays into boron 511 so what kind of particle is emitted in this type of decay the correct option will be option a positron is released in this type of decay so here as you can see that carbon and boron atomic number are decreased from 6 to 5 it has become that means the proton number is decreased but the mass number that is atomic mass is same that is 11 to 11 so this is actually telling about the positron emission so what happens in this in this kind of radioactivity decay proton is converted into the neutron and releasing a positron and electron neutrino so along with positron what else is released it is electron neutrino that is having the zero charge you should remember electron neutrino is released in the positron emission which is having the zero charge and along with that what is released a positron is released so i hope you are able to understand proton is converted into neutron and positron and electron neutrino are released let's move to the next set of questions the question is under unstable atmosphere condition the plume rise that is denoted as delta small h above the stack varies with the wind speed that is small u at the stack height as what so here it is asking about the plume rise 
that is delta h and the relation with the wind speed that is small u. So it is asking under the under unstable condition. So here the correct option will be option B that is it is inversely proportional when the plume rise height that is delta h is inversely proportional to the wind speed that is small u. When the wind speed is more delta h plume rise is less. When the wind speed is less the delta h that is plume rise above the stock height is more. Coming to the next question. The next question is from the sewage treatment. The question is asking bulking of sewage sludge is frequently associated with which of the following. So here it is related to the high carbon is to phosphorus ratio. So you should remember high carbon is to phosphorus ratio is the reason because of which bulking of sewage takes place. Let's move to the next question. Next question coming from the water pipes. The question is the bacteria responsible for the deposition of iron oxide in water pipes is what? So this question was asked in UGC net environmental science paper of 2008. So here Gallionella is the bacteria which is responsible for the deposition of iron oxide in the water pipe. As a result, the water are contaminated or having the higher amount of iron. Let's move to the next question. The next question is one of the purpose of secondary treatment of industrial wastewater and sewage is to perform what? So this is asking about the secondary treatment process. You should remember primary, secondary and tertiary process. So here the correct option will be option number B to reduce the biochemical oxygen demand or reduce the BOD of the wastewater secondary treatment process is taking place every time. So let's move to the next set of questions. So the next question is from the same instrument which we are holding electronic device that is mobile. So mobile phone frequencies are in the range of what? So it is asking about the frequencies of the mobile phone range which are very very harmful and here the correct option will be option number D. They are in the range of 800 megahertz to 2200 megahertz. Next question is Deinococcus and Deinobacter are the radiation resistant bacteria because of what? So they are resistant to the radiation because they have effective repair mechanism for the damaged DNA. Yes, even if their DNA are damaged, they are having the effective mechanism to solve or to repair the damaged DNA and they are having the high concentration of carotenoids. This is also important. Carotenoids help in effectively managing the damaged DNA. Let's move to the next question. The next question is which set of the following gases represents natural greenhouse gases? So first I would suggest you to read all the options then I will reveal the answer. So here the correct option will be option number A. Yes carbon dioxide, N2O, ozone and methane all these are natural greenhouse gases. But in these three options you can see here CFCs are present which are not natural. Here also CFC is present which is also not a natural greenhouse gas. Here also carbon monoxide is present which is also not a natural gas. So these three options will be not there. That's why option A will be the correct option. Let's move to the next question. The next question is in vitro pollen germination is inhibited by which of the following gases? So here the correct option will be option number C both of the above that means sulfur dioxide and ozone these two are the pollutants which are inhibiting the process of germination of pollen when we are going for the in vitro germination. So these were some of the questions which we discussed in this video I hope you enjoyed this if you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates you can join our telegram group for regular quizzes link will be provided in the description and yes. Keep smiling, believe in yourself, see you guys in our next video.